I'm Aaliyah, and this is Sam, Rohan, and Tyler. And we're here to present you with Loop, a solution to help you be smarter with your smartphones. We use our devices a lot, and we spend a good portion of our day on screens. Millennials spend four to five hours a day, and the numbers aren't much better for younger generations. Teens or tweens spend two to three hours, and teens, same as millennials, spend four to five hours a day on devices. Screens are actually have been found to change our behavior. Uh, we use our phones pretty much all day. First thing we get up in the morning, we have our screens nearby for all but two hours of the day. And even a quarter of us say they're constantly connected, constantly online. We're increasingly using our devices in social settings. The majority of Americans use their phones in their most recent social gathering, even though that same number in that study indicated that they thought phone use was distracting and harmful to group dynamics. We're literally becoming addicted to our devices. In drug addictions, large surges of dopamine are teaching your brain to seek drugs instead of healthier behaviors, and the same kind of drug or dopamine surge is happening when we're using the internet. In addition to those chemical changes in our brain, there is also some physical damage that has been shown, and there's atrophy in gray areas, gray matter areas of our brain. One damaged area is the insular lobe. This is concerning because this area is involved in empathy and compassion, and also understanding emotional signals in other people. Uh, device usage is damaging our ability to be empathetic in adults and children alike. One example is that sixth graders who didn't use their phones were better at reading uh, emotions in, in their peers. So phone use is resulting in decreased sensitivity to emotions and reduced social skills. Paul Booth at University of Chicago found that face-to-face -face interaction is important to building interpersonal relationships and that the mediated conversation methods that we are involved in, such as texting, um, doesn't really do anything to deepen our relationship with other people. Eighth graders who are heavy social media users are more likely to say that they're anxious and lonely, and that their risk of depression rises by 27% by using social media 10 plus hours a day. It's All they have to do to cut that risk is have interaction with other people, such as playing sports, hanging out after school. It's not that hard, really. So this leads to our stance on device usage and our solution to addiction. We believe that reducing problematic screen time and encouraging real-life human interaction is critical to developing interpersonal empathy and improving emotional well-being. Our solution is Loop. Addiction to smartphones is an epidemic across the world. People are spending more time than ever using apps that steal attention and waste time. Internet addiction and social media has been linked to an increase in depression, as well as difficulty empathizing with and connecting to the people around us. Loop can help. When you wake up, your loop is in red mode, which means that addictive and time-wasting apps are restricted. As you begin your day without wasting time on your phone, loop begins charging. As it charges, it enters green mode. When you are in green mode, you are free to use your phone in any way you like until the time you've earned runs out. When you go to a public place, you enter yellow mode. In yellow mode, nothing is restricted, but the time you've earned drains more quickly, making it more worthwhile for you to put your phone away. Perhaps you'll notice another person choosing to do the same and you can strike up a conversation. Loop might even reward you for doing so. Loop learns your habits over time and implements a custom plan to help you build healthier behavior patterns on your phone. It gently and gradually reduces the amount of time you have with the apps you're addicted to and never blocks essential functions such as music or navigation. If you're in a meeting and need to share something, that's okay. Loop knows when you are engaging with the people around you and it knows when you're distracted or ignoring others. When you are home or all alone and it is now an appropriate time for you to check up on social media, you can use the time you've earned without it being wasted. No more hours long binges, however. Loop helps you use your phone for just short bits of time.
At the end of the day, you can check your progress in the Loop app. It encourages further social engagement by allowing you to redeem time not used for experiences such as tickets to a concert with your friends. Be smarter with your smartphone with Loop. So what is Loop? Loop, physically Loop, is a wearable that can be added to any band or strap you already own. We felt that a wearable was important because it allows you to check the status without pulling out your phone. Loop tries to understand the context you are in through the biometric data from the wearable as well as the data it gathers through your phone. Then, Loop uses an AI to learn your habits and build a personalized plan for you so that you're not quitting cold turkey, but you're gradually changing the way you use your phone. Loop encourages social connections by changing the value of screen time when you're around other people. Essentially, the time in yellow mode is wasted because if you were in green mode, it would last longer. Finally, Loop is only blocking the addictive and time-wasting apps. You can still use your phone for normal tasks. It also incentivizes healthier behavior by providing alternate, alternative uses of your screen time. So how does Loop work? There are three modes, green, yellow, and red. In green mode, um, it's, a, it's for times that are appropriate moments to use your phone, such as when you're home alone. There are no restrictions on use, and your available time ch uh, charges and drains according to what the AI has set for you today. If you enter a context where it would be inappropriate for you to be distracted by your phone, loop turns yellow and keeps the level of charge you're at, there are still no restrictions, but the time remaining drains more quickly. From either green or yellow mode, when your time is drained completely, you go into red mode, where the addictive apps are restricted. It only lasts long enough to break you out of your binge and will start charging back up as soon as you stop using your phone. When you reach that red mode, it's going to pop up a notification and force you to exit the app. And then you can check the Loop app anytime. If you can, if you, in it, you can see your current status and also look at your usage data and see your improvements over time. You can also choose not to use all of your available time and begin banking. This could be redeemed towards further uh, social activities, such as a discount um, on concert tickets or a food voucher at a baseball game. So what makes Loop different? Well, the current solutions, uh, such as Apple Screen Time and Google's Digital Wellbeing, are really lacking. The limits are only on or off. They make you decide what limits to set, and those limits are based on usage for the entire day, and that limit never changes unless you change it. They don't account for the context you're in, and they are really easy to override. Like in Apple's screen time, uh, when you reach a limit, your only options are to ignore that limit or delay it, and that whole interaction is only two taps. So Loop is different. It is aware of the context you're in, and has more states than just on or off. The AI sets limits that are personalized for you, and takes that work off your chest. The limits come and go throughout the day. The AI changes the limits as your behavior changes. Loop values time differently in social situations, and Loop is not easy to override. So in closing, Loop strikes a balance between technology and human interaction and helps you practice interpersonal empathy and pursue better emotional well-being. Thank you.